Hello? Oh, hi, Kendra. Have you been here before? Someone... No, I've never been here before. Okay. You ready? You ready? Yes, you're right. You're cute. Thank you. Now, what is your name? My name is Ruth. Ruth? <laughs> Ruth, where are you calling us from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. How old are you? 26. 26. What you do for a living? I'm in IT, so I'm currently a project manager, but I'm also transitioning to cybersecurity. Um, and I'm also going to, so I plan on, on also starting a cybersecurity company as well. Okay. Do you have any kids? No. No kids? Have you ever been married? No. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. So we got Ruth, Dallas, Texas, 26, Scorpio, no kids. IT project manager, cybersecurity. All right, baby, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, so I was born in Nigeria, so I'm Nigerian. So I do prefer, you know, a Nigerian man. If not Nigerian, then a West African man, at least. Um, you have to be tall. I'm 5'7", so at least like 5'11". Um, um, a man that has a passport. Um, a man with no children. Um, God-fearing man, a man that goes to church, um, a man that has a good career, has a good pathway. Um, I, I don't, I don't date DJs. I don't date promoters. I don't date truck drivers. Um, I don't. Yeah, and that's just about it for now so far. Did you have a bad experience with those professions? No, it's just I. I've heard stories, so I'm not one of those people that has to go through it to experience it. I, I, I learn from other people's experiences. Okay. Now, would you want a Nigerian man? Would you date a Nigerian man in Nigeria, or should he be here? If he's going to be in Nigeria, he has to have a lot of money because I need to, you know, like, because as a Nigerian woman, I understand the currency rate. Like, you know, when you transfer Nigerian, you know, Naira to, to dollars, but I prefer a man that's here in the U.S., so... So, well, since you brought up money, how much money do you want the man to make? Um, well, because I'm making six figures in IT, I would prefer a man that's also making at least 100K. Bare minimum 100K. Um, and if he's in Nigeria, you're open-minded if he's making that or more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about looks? Should he look a certain way? Brown skin or dark skin and just at least 5'11". That's about it. I prefer an okay. Igbo man. You know, I'm also, I'm also I'm an Igbo girl, so I prefer an Igbo man. I don't mind Yoruba. Just don't do Hausa man or Fulani. I can't do those two. Um, you can't I be don't what? Know. You, can't house, you can't be Hausa or Fulani. So those are tribes in Nigeria. Um, but I'm okay I'm, with Yoruba. I'm familiar with Yoruba. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with Yoruba or Igbo because I'm, I'm an Igbo girl. Um, and I do as well. And Delta, I'm also okay with Delta. Okay. Um, so you only want a Nigerian man then? You're not open to a man that's not Nigerian? No, I prefer a Nigerian man. That's like my number one. But if you're like Ghanaian, if you're from Cameroon, any part of West Africa, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, let's do the Kendra cam because we already did the money. So let's do the Kendra cam. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. How, how long have you been in Dallas for? You look good. You look good. Uh, thank you. Uh, I've been in Dallas for three years. I, I originally okay. came from Philadelphia. Okay. When was your last relationship, honey? I've never been in a relationship. Your whole life? You've never been in a relationship? <laughs> no, I've just been in situationships because if you're not my I, – personally, I'm one of those people, like, I could tell if you're my husband. And if you're not my husband, I'm not going to waste two years with you. For example, like if I don't see myself actually, you know, committing to you, you being the lead, because I'm very independent. So if I can't see myself following after you, then there's no point in even wasting my time, you know. So you're a virgin? No, I'm not a virgin. I, I said I've been in situationships, but I'm, I'm so not I, a virgin. Okay. So I understand, listen, I understand if you meet a guy, you know he's not your husband. But why does it make sense for you not to be, well, I don't know. Do you want a committed relationship? Do you want a husband? I do. I do. Okay. So how do you explain that it's, it makes smart, it's smarter to be in a situationship opposed to a relationship if you're going to have sex? 
It's not smart at all. It's stupid, actually. It's very stupid. And I regret it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take that okay. accountability, you know? <laughs> okay. 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 Listen, I received that. So now moving forward, are you desiring a relationship? Yes, 100%. I mean, I've always desired a relationship. It's just, you know, sometimes a man I want doesn't want me. Or the man that um, doesn't want me, I mean, the man that wants me, I don't want them. So it's, you know. That's exactly the way it works. I mean, yeah. you, you, listen, a lot of things I'm about to say, you kind of said it first. Um, that's exactly what it is. Um, this is why I don't like situationships because in situationships, a lot of times, I mean, it could go both ways, but majority of the times women catch feelings, right? Yeah. And then women want it to become a relationship. And the high probability is, is it, it won't become a relationship, right? And that's why, I mean, women hate when I say it, child. But that's why I say only have sex with people who are willing to be in relationships with you so you can know what are your relationship options versus your situationship options. Because a lot of women are having sex with men who ain't never going to make them your their girlfriend, let alone their wife. So you should not even waste your time, get wrapped up into that cave of liking this guy who is never going to give you what you really want in the long run. So I, I believe in relationships and sex, or that's what, that's just my own personal belief. But y'all got to live your own life and decide for yourself. And I will respect that. All right, Ruth, what are when was the last time you was intimate? You don't have to answer. Um, I'll keep that to myself. Okay, three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws. I'm very independent, so it's really hard for me to follow a man's lead. Um, another one is I'm a shopaholic. Like, I love to shop. Another flaw is um, I'm kind of loud. As a Nigerian girl, we're, I'm very loud. So <laughs> I can be trying to have a conversation with you, but I'm just shouting and I don't even realize I'm shouting. Okay. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm very, I'm very driven. Um, also, I do also, and I do want a man that goes to the gym because I go to, the, I, I like to go to the gym a lot. So. Um, you have to go to the gym, but a, a man would be lucky to be with me because like I said, I'm very driven. I'm very smart. Um, I'm an investor. I also trade currency and stock in the stock market. Um, I'm just a planner. Like I said, I've, I've been so independent that I've gotten this far in life be, because I've just been able to plan ahead. Um, and I can see, and I can, and I'm kind of like your third eye. So there's things you might not see, but I might see on your, like on the outside looking in. So I guess okay. you can see that. I, I got a paid question. I got a paid question. I'm going to bring it here. Um, Q La Q said, ladies, we do this every, um, ladies, we do this everything night. I think they meant every night. There are not enough 100K man, men for everyone. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the SBC Nation. I don't know what the SBC Nation is. I'm not sure if I should know. Um, can I respond to that? Uh, yeah, you can. So there's not enough, there's not a lot of 100 men, 100K men in your world, but in my world, there's a lot of 100K men and women in my world. <laughs> so the, the, the events I go to, men are pulling up in Rolls Royce, Porsches, you know, I drive a Tesla, um, you know, million dollar home. So in my world, yes, there are 100K is actually the minimum. Like I said, I make 100K. So if I was able to make 100K by the age of 23, why is it that at your big age, you can't make 100K? What were you doing at, at 40? You're 40 years old. What have you been doing all, these time, all this time? You're 30 years old. What have you been doing? So like I said, I don't care. <laughs> That's your world. But my world, we make 100K easily. Okay. Listen, I respect that. My question to you is, why haven't you locked down one of those guys? Oh, actually, I messed up. There was, there was one guy that got away making 600K. I messed up. I didn't like him at that moment. But then... I started liking him, but then he went and found someone else. So there's a lot of like, or it's, so is there situations like that or the guy's too short or his tribe, you know, like a Nigerian or, um, you know, it's like when, when I meet him, it starts off as friends. So it stays as friends. Um, it just doesn't progress to that. So, yeah. But okay. I still have options, you know. <laughs> okay. Mr. Patrick, let me read this one. Miss, I guess, um, Mr. Patrick Spalding said, ask her, why does she have two Instagrams? They both look like personal pages. 
I have one Instagram. Oh, uh, maybe somebody has a fake page of yours. Yeah, I have one Instagram. Oh, Let me I've say had like. Oh, I think I know. I've had like three Instagrams, but two of them were like hacked or they were. Um, I forgot the password. But the one I actively use is the one that's linked here. Okay. I want to yeah. say this to all women who are like you, Ruth, who are around the, the top 1% men, because the guy you just described is the 1% man that makes a certain amount of money, um, that's driving those cars. If this is your real world, ladies, lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. You will have a higher probability. And this is my show, and I love my show. And yes, I really do have men that make that amount of money that watch my show all the time. But they also have a lot of times, and this is my world, they don't come on the show because they have so many options in the real world. So if you are like Ruth and you're telling us that your reality is surrounded by the 1% men on a regular basis, I encourage you to lock it in with somebody in your reality. Don't, don't let that guy go by if that is your reality. If you're always around these men, start talking to them, start learning. This is what y'all say y'all want. This is what you say you around. You know, it's, these are 1% men. I want you to know that. And I do agree because, um, I guess I made that mistake. So now that I'm 26, when I was 23, 24, 22, I was around these men, but I wasn't serious. You know, um, I just wanted to keep exploring. So now that I'm 26, they're all either my friends already. So it's weird now. <laughs> so I don't want to date any of them. If that makes sense. But okay. when they weren't interested, I said no. So. Okay. Well, let's do it. Well, besides the real world, if you are a man that makes her minimum requirements <laughs> and want to rise to the equation. It's Ruth Dallas, Texas, 26, Scorpio, no kids, IT project manager, cybersecurity. I mean, you definitely look great on paper, honey. Um, how can the guy reach out to you? So my Instagram is underscore C-O dot K-A-I-N-E underscore. Underscore C-O dot K-A-I-N-E underscore. Yep. All right, baby girl. All right, Kimmy, post how it goes, love. Thank you. All right, bye. bye, sweetheart.